Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. Uh, I've got an announcement for you today that should be relatively quick, but by way of background, let me say that most books are written to make you think. Whether it's nonfiction that's presenting information, or fiction that's striving to be believable, or using a fictitious story as a vehicle for conveying some kind of truth, uh, and for the most part, that's a good thing. It's, it's good to think deeply about things. But when you do a lot of deep thinking, there also comes a time when it's important to relax your mind. And one way you can do that is by reading for light entertainment. So reading for light entertainment, as long as it's not pursued to the exclusion of all other reading, uh, can be a good and healthy practice. However, I have found it surprisingly difficult to find books that really offer good light entertainment. Uh, you know, if you're looking at books that are marketed sort of in the vein of comedy or humor or other light fiction, uh, a lot of them seem to be kind of dirty. You know, they stray into topics that I find crude or morally objectionable, and so that's not entertaining to me. Uh, others are just kind of lame. Others read like the author was going down a checklist trying to make his book conform to some kind of agenda, which... You know, even if it's like a Christian author whose agenda I might ideologically agree with, that makes for really cliche writing that, again, is just not very entertaining. So, I don't know, maybe I'm just a really picky reader. Now, certainly there are authors that I enjoy reading for light entertainment, but most of them are now dead, and so they're not writing any new books, and I've already read what they've written. Uh, so, recently my wife and I spent some time trying to identify uh, some new authors that you know, we could read for light entertainment, and we pretty much came up empty-handed. So, I decided that for a while I'm going to try writing for light entertainment instead of reading. So I've started writing what I'm calling the Archwood Chronicles, a work of fiction which, at least by my standards, is intentionally light and superficial, uh, formatted as a series of short stories which are more or less self-contained, but do kind of build on each other and share the same cast of characters in the same setting. I haven't decided yet if I'm actually going to publish the Archwood Chronicles or not, but I thought what I would do is, as I finish the draft of these uh, individual chapters or short stories, I would post them serially on my Patreon page. Uh, and that way I can find out what my patrons think of them, and maybe that will influence my decision about what to do with the series down the road. So that is the crux of this announcement, that I'm introducing a new patron benefit, as it were, uh, in the form of these uh, serial stories. Uh, anyway, until next time, thank you for watching The Idahoan Show.